Are you ready? Yes. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How much distress do you have right now on a scale uh, from zero to 100? 200. How do you feel that? Where do you, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> you are doing, you are doing well. It's okay, it's okay, you can do it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> So, are you ready for this one thing that that we are not going to fight? So, if you start fighting, then we stop. That's okay. okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. okay. Uh, this is no problem. You do your very best, and and there's well, that's the only thing that you could do. Yeah, and try to immerse yourself into the fear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shall we go? Yeah. Do we, it's okay, it's okay. You are doing you are doing well. It's okay, it's okay. Sometimes people think that we should not erase a fear response because the fear system helps us to survive, to to flee or to fight or whatever. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But there are many fears and phobias that could cause problems. It's already done. Very, very good. Take your time. For instance, needlephobia is a very serious problem because there are always situations where you really need an injection. You cannot get vaccinations or you cannot become pregnant or other life-saving uh, medical interventions. So that is a huge problem if people suffer from a needlephobia. You can take one pill out of it. You've got it? Yeah. 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 On the other hand, I'm not saying that we should change or reduce all fears or phobias. Thank you. Just when it interferes in a way with people's daily lives that is indeed out of control, that is the moment that we should try to, to interfere and to, to change something. Can you try to look at it? Is that okay? Is that okay for you? How yeah. does that feel if you look at it? From scale zero to 100. Ten. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't feel bad. Okay. That's good. Ten. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> there are many pathways to develop a fear or a phobia. It is either by a direct traumatic experience. It can also be via modeling, especially if for instance, your mother is showing a strong fear response. So I know that, I'm aware of that. Ten years ago, my oldest daughter, Magali, had this very serious surgery to lengthen her leg because one of her legs was too short. So they cut the bone and we were in the hospital a day before the surgery and she was very stressed and had to cry a lot. And that made me cry and I was so emotional. And I thought, if I come back tomorrow and I'm still like that, I mean, that is really not very helpful for her. I felt like, what can I do? And then I decided I'd take a pill of propranolol. <laughs> My wonder pill. <laughs> And that was good because then I was no longer occupied with suppressing my feelings and I could be really into the situation and focusing on her, helping her. But later on, although I'm to a certain extent happy that I took the pill because I feel like, well, I could support her and so on, I also realized that in a way it is more unreal. 
Because a normal response would of course be that I had to cry, that I had felt the fear and the arousal and so on. And so the memory feels less real. Yeah. Today is not like a really phobic patient. It's mm -hmm. actually my supervisor who designed oh, okay. the treatment. And she's also afraid of snakes. So okay. we want her, yeah, ideally, if we can do a bit of a treatment today and then test mm -hmm. it, whether it was effective tomorrow, then she'll be less afraid when we do the treatment yeah. with okay. the, the full, like really yeah. phobic patient on mm -hmm. Thursday. But because she's not a super phobic, we think we might need to go a bit further, maybe even to put it around her neck. For like, a couple of reasons I'm here. First of all, it would be cool if I'm able to treat people with uh, fear of snakes. Yeah. yeah. And um, is there something in particular that you can sort of pinpoint about the snakes that you f find particularly unpleasant, particularly frightening? Yeah, I find them sneaky. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, so cannot really trust them. Yeah. Uh, what what do you mean by that? Because that's. <laughs> um, do you mean that you don't know what they're going to be doing? It's probably or? because I don't know them very well. So it's for me very hard to predict mm -hmm. their behavior to understand yeah. them. Yeah. Maybe I should remove this. Um, and why do you want to remove that? It could sort of be sort en of enticing for the yeah. snake. I think that if it were a patient, I think you would say yeah. that would be a safety behavior. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I have fear of snakes, but it does not interfere with my daily life at all. I do not really suffer from it. Not at all. I do not suffer from it. Okay. So, first, I want to show you some. Oh of the no! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Are you okay? It's <laughs> terrible. Seems... Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. And we're going to go around here and oh. see some different ones. Oh, yeah, this is really an ugly one. So can you come here? And I want you to just look at this one. Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is terrible. I don't think that we should always try to change our emotional memories. Emotional memories are very functional and give also color to our lives. OK. Yeah. And is it possible for her to hold it herself as well here? Yeah, well done, Meryl. And how do you feel now? Yeah, I'm OK. From 0 to 100 now? I think 60 or so. Yeah. On the other hand, people can always decide to improve themselves and to get rid of their subclinical fears. Okay. I'm a little bit afraid of... The head? Uh, no, yeah, the head. Uh, but somehow, because it's a pill, People have difficulty with it. I think you did really well in terms of yeah. what we did here, and yeah. there's not much further we can no. go. No. So, I think, yeah. should we take the profound yeah. one? Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. get it from there. There is also something, I think it's a little bit of Calvinistic reasoning that people think if you want to get rid of your fears, you have to do it yourself, you have to work for that, you have to suffer for it before they overcome it, and it shouldn't ever be easy to take a pill and then the fear is gone. I think we'll just have to wait and see now how it is. Tomorrow, yeah. So, to what degree does it uh, interfere with your daily life? Well, there, there are not really snakes in the Netherlands. So That's true, yeah. I'm not really afraid of that. Yeah. Um, so in real, general, general daily life, yeah. it doesn't really interfere. Yeah. But. Basically, for your holidays. For holidays and watching... Watching television. Watching television. Yeah. I tried it once with a very cool Planet Earth episode. I don't know where it was. Yeah. There were all these snakes following these really cute animals, and I really wanted to see it. I just I couldn't look at it. Yeah, the, the fact that they don't have feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah.
There are so many people suffering from disorders of emotional memory. 20% of people suffer from a fear or anxiety disorder. So that is motivating for me to, to go on with my research and trying to improve what we are doing. Okay. Uh, try not to move away, but to step forward. Okay. But sometimes I also have doubts because in a way it's all about human enhancement and why should we always go for the better? Okay. <laughs> I did very well. I think we can go. It's as if I do not allow that people are afraid or phobic. I can't believe it. You can't believe it. Really relaxed. I can't believe it. No. I'm, I'm not completely comfortable. No, but it's okay. It's but okay. <gasps> okay. 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 It's so much a hurry of me. <laughs> I found that very scary. It's yeah, tongue in his head. Too. And uh, yeah, so we are both uh, treated. Yeah. <laughs> You're with treated this, with your own cure. With, yeah, with, <laughs> with this snake, actually. So you help them. But the question is, when is it going too far? Um, I don't know. So this is something that I'm thinking about. Life is hard and everyone has emotional memories and some are really difficult and terrifying or very sad, but this is part of our lives. Fear is a beautiful emotion. It's evolutionary and a fantastic system. It is everywhere in all organisms. You might even consider it as part of our intelligence because we are able to not only think back, but also think in the future. But on the other hand, if you have irrational fear or anxiety disorders, you are a victim of that system. And it really interferes with people's ability to enjoy the very beautiful sides of life. I don't know why, uh, but this is how we are. <laughs> Ja, ik kan wel een beetje veel mistake. Dan moet je straks even ruimer zorgen. Oh. Dan leg je daar ook foto's in, hè? Ja, je moet lachen, dat is volledig, hè? Ja.